also the state of South Carolina versus Tammy Case and more regarding March 2014 A26107005 584 and 585 the matters before the court on the Attorney General's motion for handwriting sample uh, in this case um, this is a referral that we received from the Department of Health and Human Services who administer, administ administers the program and based on a anonymous complaint that they received uh, the allegation is that the Moors over the course of several years mis uh, misrepresented their income on Medicaid applications uh, according to Section 1713140. This court must find probable cause. The probable cause that suspect committed a crime. It sounds that most of these applications were filled out by City Moore. My client's name appears on them. Um, Your Honor, I'm very concerned about going forward today. Uh, we have asked for a motion for continuance with regard to Mr. City Moore. Uh, as the court is aware, I was appointed on the case today. At the moment, I do not have any discovery in this case, so we cannot really put together an argument to let the court know if we feel that a handwriting example is appropriate or if we need to be defending against it. Judge, there's, a, there's a difference here between signatures and hand printing samples. Most of what they refer to are signatures on driver's licenses and things of that nature. Um, what, we're, what we're seeking uh, today is um, I'm here with Special Investigator Adam from my office. He has blank Medicaid applications where the hand printing samples could be obtained. Um, we can do that today. All right. I'm going to grant the motion as I, based upon what was submitted, Court of Appeals decision in uh, State versus Frazier. 